Joshua chapter 22 is a great example of how assumptions and miscommunications can lead to war and destruction when not dealt with biblically. We see here how the Western Israelites were ready to go to war because they saw the altar that the tribes of Reuben, Gad, and Manasseh were building, and they assumed it was being built for sacrifices. They assumed their intentions. Those assumptions turned to gossip, and that gossip turned to anger. And that anger nearly led to war. But thankfully, someone had the foresight to send Phineas the priest to peacefully resolve the situation. All throughout scripture, we see examples and instruction on how to deal with situations like this. Matthew 18 instructs us that if we have a problem with someone, to go directly to them, and if they don't listen, to take one or two others along. Philippians 2 tells us what the posture of our hearts should be when we confront someone and how we should be humble and not self-seeking. And Romans 12, 17 to 19 says this, Never pay back evil with evil. Do things in such a way that everyone can see you are honorable. Do all that you can to live in peace with everyone. Dear friends, never take revenge. Leave that to the righteous anger of God. There are many lessons to learn from this chapter, but consider these things today as you read this passage. When we have a misunderstanding with another person or we're hearing rumors about them, then we need to go and check it out. If we care about the person, we'll want to be sure to put an end to needless rumors and misunderstandings. We need to make sure we have our facts right before taking any kind of action. We need to be able to have an open and honest discussion in the spirit of gentleness and not arrogance. If we find that it was a misunderstanding, then we need to put all rumors to rest and make sure that the issue is settled. What's in a person's heart will ultimately be revealed and how they respond to the truth. If someone is truly seeking what is right and what is best for the body of believers, then they will rejoice and praise God when a problem has been resolved, just as we see the Israelites rejoicing at the end of chapter 22.